Hi, we made an ink mixing project. As you can see, <laughs> as you can see, we have some reservoirs of cyan, magenta, and yellow ink, as well as black ink. They come down through some tubing, which is clamped off by servos, and then so the, so the valves are actually on the servo yokes, right? They're yes. actually okay. I see. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. And then they flow into the cup which we can then take a paintbrush and swatch onto a piece of paper. And you do that so that you can get a true reading of the color? Yes. Yeah. And so the way that the user can choose the color is by inputting a hex code um, on the console, and then that gets converted to RGB and then converted to CMYK. And it comes out. Okay. And there's some feedback, right? Yeah. So as you can see over here, so... Once we do our first run of a color, it might not necessarily be the most accurate, so then um, we can scan it with the color sensor, and then the software will come up with a modification and will add to the color art that's still in the, um, the cup and I see. create more, I see. <laughs> more so, accurate color. And so there's a color sensor over here yeah. with its own little light. Right here. Which is it's, okay. So it's off the device, uh, so it, we can actually put the paper in there. Uh -huh. And uh, then uh, the gravity-based system will then drop the appropriate uh, adjustment into the reservoir. Okay. Cool. So let's see it mix something. Okay. okay. So I guess we're going to try with this green over here, see how it goes. Okay. So we're inputting the hex code right now. You're putting it in the hex code into the, into the console of the, the PIC32. And so then you can see it dispensing. So, yep, so it did that. Now it's asking if we want to scan it to adjust it. So we're just going to take a little swatch of it. Well, that was fast. Yeah. So that's the color that it made. So it's a little watery. Just put it, put it under the light so I can get a better reading of it. Okay, that's well, actually too bright. That's better yeah. like that. Yeah. And that looks very much like what was on the screen, yeah. which is good. So now we're going to scan it with the color sensor. Mm -hmm. Which the user can opt out of if they're already happy uh -huh. with it. So it's scanning it. So the color sensor is running off of an Arduino. Um, so we're waiting for it to send. And there you go. So now it wants no, to. Too dark. Yeah. So do you want to explain what um, it's So changing? the scan uh, will pick up. Uh, whatever the color sensor sees, and then we do another CMYK conversion and compare it to the expected value, and then prompt the user uh, whether or not they want to apply a correction, and that'll just be based on. Uh, so CMYK colors, for the most part, are based on two different color channels. So out of the three, so that would be C, M, or Y, and then uh, the darkness will be just controlled by the K channel. Okay. Uh, yeah. So then. Um, Based on this green, we'd only modify the cyan and the yellow channels, and so those would be scaled up slightly uh, based on what the uh, sensor saw. Okay, yeah. so, so we're going we... to apply the correction now. Yeah. And then. So then we see can how that goes. Swatch the new color. Sorry, let me just clean off this brush, and then we can see the difference between the two. And it is a little bit so lighter. Can, yeah, so we can put them so next to each other. This was the uh -huh. first one, and this was the second one. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it made it a little bit lighter, a little brighter, uh -huh. closer to the other one. Closer so we to could, the like, continuously do the, um, the feedback forever, but we could just say we are happy with this color, okay. um, and say no in the chat, in the whatever it's called, <laughs> and then it'll prompt for the next hex value if you want to make more colors. Yeah! yeah. Very Yay. cool! <laughs> So, fluids in the electronics lab. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a great idea. And yeah. it's very and it's and it's been very nicely done. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Thanks.